everyone, so today I'm going to talk about reusable menstrual products. I have been using reusable ones since about the end of 2014, so at the end of this year I would make it six years, but currently I'm around the five year mark. And I just wanted to go over the products I use, my experiences with them, and all of that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my the pads. So I actually only have one brand of pads because I pads pads and the cup do both last 10 years if you take care of them and these are completely still fine I mean they're about five years old give or take so they're all from precious stars she has a YouTube I'll link her below but I got these when see I got some of them in 2014 some of them middle of 2015 so I tried a few in, in the end of 2014 and then I bought more and I believe in 2016 and then I pretty much stopped because I didn't really need any more this is not even all of the ones I have I have one still in the, my bathroom but I also have a few stashed here and there for any like emergencies so the basic ones that I have from her and I love all the prints they're so cute they're all bamboo velour I can show you one so this is how it looks like on the other side they're all bamboo velour there's some fuzz on it and they all have well the the larger ones have double clasps which i love so this is a overnight pad um we get a regular one pretty much have regular overnight and then panty liners love the print so cute okay so this is a regular that's about the size and it only has one clip and then these are the panty liners and they're a slightly different shape than the other ones but they still these do have um two clips as well so you can you know do them as tight as you need on your panties so they kind of sit like that so i realized i just said the panty liner has two clips two buttons um actually it has one you know clasp on one side giving you the option of two different sizing on the other side so it's one to two same as a regular it's one to two and the overnight is two to two so you can have a good grip because it's overnight and you move more sorry about that and yeah i have a few of these maybe five something like that i don't use the panty liners too often but i do use them uh probably on like the last tail end of the cycle but mostly I use these, the regular and then the overnight ones. They are so comfy. <laughs> I So one main thing for me that I really love about um, cloth pads, other than you're not just constantly throwing away pads, is <laughs> that stickiness that happens if you kind of have it a little wrong or if it like shifts a little bit. It feels so bad and I'm glad that I... I won't say I haven't at all in the last, um, what, five years that I haven't used any. I still have a few here. This is a disposable one. I do carry some. I have this one I think I had to buy because emergencies. And then I have another type and I do have tampons, but really I buy them once and then maybe the whole year it goes by and I may not even still finish the box because I primarily use my uh, reusable ones. So... Another benefit to them is, as I mentioned, they're so comfy. So other than the stickiness that happens if you have it the wrong way, when you're already having a rough go because maybe your period kind of hurts or anything like that, it's actually really nice to have like a soft thing that you're on. And it, it's not really, I would, wouldn't say I've ever gotten um, irritated by any of them. They're just really, really soft and bamboo velour is definitely my favorite. And another thing I would say is that, I mean, I save so much money. <laughs> That's basically the thing. I haven't bought, my last like set I bought was in middle of 2016 and I have not had to buy more since. Um, so let's just, I mean, just think about how much money, <laughs> how much money I've saved. I should have calculated that. If I decide to calculate it while I'm editing, I'll throw it up there just a rough estimate there was a good period of time when I was on an IUD and my IUD um kind of stopped my period every now and then it was like intermittent 
so I didn't quite use them as much, which probably helps with the longevity of them anyway, since I wasn't using it all, all the time. I do try to cycle them into my cycle. <laughs> so I'll try not to, even though I, <laughs> for some reason, I really love this one, especially because of the print. I'll try my hardest not to use it like twice in a row, um, like one like say january and february i'll try not to do that i'll try to cycle into another one but you know it also depends on how many pads i need that time around maybe i have to use it anyway so i try my hardest to do that but otherwise i don't really think about it too much other than i make sure that they're clean really that's that's all there is to it what else i have for them is and i got this from precious stars too it's a wet bag and it matches, I think, one of them. I don't know which one it matches. I feel like it matches, might be one that I don't have in front of me, honestly. Probably. Um, and so it's a wet bag, so you you can have dry ones in one and then um, use the ones in the other. And it kind of just holds it in the bathroom until it's ready. Um, I've also lost this bag. I also have a small bag. I think it's somewhere in my car, filled with other pads, I'm sure. Um, that's like half of the size or something which is good for a travel but when i cannot find these for the life of me honestly it really is okay to um you can rinse them out if you want right there and there but if you think you're gonna wash them like pretty soon i just literally when you're done using them fold them button them up keep them like that i put them in a like a little dollar store bin for a bit and then i wash them so the best ways to take care of most of these is I wash them on, I first rinse them as much as possible, and if you're squeamish, this might not be a good thing for you, but you get over it. It's, honestly, <laughs> I was kind of like, eh, in the beginning, but it, you get over it. Um, I throw them in the washer on delicates, and normally what I do, I don't have it with me, it's an a Ecover, and they did have a problem with not being vegan certified for a while, and that was a bummer, but, and then they changed how they do things so I can buy them again yeah it's like this spot kind of cleaner treatment type stuff so I use that while I'm rinsing them and then I kind of let it sit on there while I'm rinsing all of them so they all kind of sit with it for a bit and then I throw them in the wash with some um like dye fragrance free uh liquid which I normally use for all of <laughs> all of my washing because I really don't like most um detergent literally if it doesn't get washed out all the way or something I feel itchy don't know why just me so I like mostly I like like dye free or fragrance free ones that won't bother and it's especially important for these so they don't get broken down if I'm in a rush or it's cold outside I will throw them into the dryer on low like also delicate or something like that just to kind of get most of the um the water out and kind of fluff them up a bit especially this bamboo velour it fluffs them up a little bit which is really nice uh, but most of the time, it, especially, I live in LA, it's mostly sunny here, but what I do is I hang them out, I have a side yard, so nobody can see what I'm hanging, I don't really care, honestly, but I put this, and I hang it, and they all clip in, so they all just kind of clip and hang, and they finish drying, and it works really good, especially if it's a sunny day, because sun is amazing for stains, so I, I would say none of for how many times I've used all of them, I don't think any of them are stained. No, oh, I mean, they're all good. This one has like a dent in it for some reason, but yeah, none of them are stained. They're all completely clean. And I think the only ones I've had trouble with before are these white pads. Those can stain. Luckily, I grabbed two that I have no, no stains on them. They're just really nice. But every now and then they might stain a little bit. If it's clean, it's clean. But sometimes you may need to soak them a little bit to kind of break down whatever needs to be broken down from it. What I also use is a cup. And I don't always use a cup. If I'm very, very crampy that time, I don't like personally using a cup. But especially when I was a parking officer, the cup was a lifesaver because you can have it there for 12 hours and you're, you won't get sick or anything from it. And it's just, it's just perfect. So what I normally did when I worked like super long shifts, especially walking around a lot and either, most likely I would use a cup and then pair it with either a panty liner, depending on the day, or I'll put a pad just in case, especially if I kind of, I'm not paying attention. Cause if you don't have these 
pop up in your cervix like nicely like that they, and it's kind of popped like that it's gonna leak and that's a problem so I like pairing them up when I'm having a long day but most of the time I don't which is also nice it kind of gives me some breathing room because <laughs> you know how it is especially if you're having a long menstruation period no pun intended there if it's like a longer one like seven eight nine days for whatever reason it kind of gets annoying having something extra in your underwear so having this is really really helpful i do have two what's sad <laughs> sad and funny about my ruby cup this is a ruby cup i should, probably should have said that it's ruby cup i bought one also um in 2014 when i bought everything together because um i at the time i don't know if she's doing any more she actually sells them in her shop she has a few cups i just don't know if she sells rubies anymore she might and that one i lost <laughs> i don't know how i lost it but honestly you only need to buy really one and you're good there's some people who literally have like so many cups and i mean that's fine too if you want a different cup every day that's great if you need also if you happen to need a different cup per part of your days sometimes you're very cramping you can't handle certain like this one's kind of squishy but there's some that are firmer if that makes sense if you do need that get them but for the most part you typically only need one and it will last you 10 years these are medical grade silicone it will last you that long and then you don't need to buy anything else um if that works for you so this is actually my third one because <laughs> i lost the other one too and i almost lost this one i found it and i also have I think this is I don't know what brand this is Athena I just got it on Amazon um I can open it okay so I can show you the differences between them so you can see that there are differences did I mix them up no it'd be funny if I did yeah no it says Athena cup inside so this is how they are if you can tell the ruby cup is shorter so it's much shorter but it's a little wider. I don't know if that's that's how I'm not gonna help. It's a little wider, I would say. However, the Athena is wider at the top. So this one's a little more elongated and it has a shorter natural stem. Here's the thing. I could cut this off, but every now and then I do need that long stem, so I don't wanna cut it off. This one's a pretty good length when I can handle that length. Sorry, almost dropped it. Okay. So the length of it can be very dependent on the person who's menstruating. They may need a shorter one, which in that case, if they get a ruby cup, for example, they can actually cut this off. You can't cut too close to it because if you cut too close, you will just make a hole. Um, but there are some cups that are just naturally shorter. And then this one is naturally longer. And these, these are literally examples of probably hundreds of different types of cups, different types of sizes, different types of firmness. I would say this one's a little firmer than this one, just, just like by a hair. Um, and this one's firmer definitely on the, rit, on the ridge right here. And this one's not as firm. These both, and not all of the cups too, um, will show you like milliliters. I think this goes, they both go up to 15. So they're both 15 but they have different i don't know if you can see that so this one has put that one down 5 10 and 15 for the ruby cup that is what you're measuring if you want to measure and then the athena cup is 7.5 and 15 so it's 7.5 and 15 not everybody measures i typically don't doesn't it's not something that i track or care to track but some people do especially if they're having heavier times or very uneven type and they're trying to track that that's definitely something that's helpful um but like i said there's so many different types you don't have to get them clear you can get them any color you want i think there's black and blue ones and a whole bunch of other ones but these work very well for me and i really don't have any drive or need to buy any other cup at this moment which i probably will lose one of these so there's that um but yeah so I basically pick what I want to use depending on how I'm feeling. That's generally how I go. If I feel like I just can't be bothered with a pad, then I'm going to use a cup. If I feel like I can't be bothered with a cup, I'm going to use a pad. If I feel like I need both because I'm going to be out all day, 
I use both, so that's great. Um, the other thing I have from Ruby Cup is actually their silicone like attracts hair, I swear. The last time I purchased from Ruby Cup, I actually purchased a like a kit, which was the it will always come with a bag, but the Ruby Cup and this silicone like cleaner that they have. Uh so it pops open. All the way open. And you fill it up with, or you don't fill it up all the way. I don't think this has marks of where to fit it up. I probably put like halfway-ish. You can fill it up with water. You put your ruby cup in. What I normally do first is make sure it's completely rinsed out. This is to like sanitize it. So you put some water in here and either you can close it or not. If you do close it, there is a little hole there, but I know some people don't close it for whatever reason. So it's kind of like boiling it in here in a way. You could also just boil it if you'd like, but if you're not paying attention, you can't actually ruin the cup. So be careful, depending on, like, don't walk away from it pretty much. But if you put a little bit of water here, um, you could put, I'm trying to think what else I would put, probably like very gentle, I, I wouldn't say baby soap. There are some soaps that are specifically for this and I'll link them down below. I typically use actually like the, honestly the best thing to use for these since they're silicone, is like toy cleaners because it pretty much goes the same place. So they're pretty safe for these. So, but generally I just put water and let it pretty much superheat in here so it can sanitize it and that's what I use it for. And if there's any little nooks and crannies that need to be like cleaned out more then I just like sit there and clean it. But it's not that hard. It's really not that hard. It is not a big thing, especially once you get used to it. But I will say, I will tell you my first experience because I remember it very well. <laughs> um, so I tried it the first time. Wow, it's windy outside. So I tried it the first time and I couldn't get it out. Here's the thing you, you don't do when you can't get it out. Don't go on your phone and look up something about not being able to get it out because most of the time you're going to get something that's scaring you. <laughs> So I'll link it below if I can find it, but there is this funny article. It didn't scare me, but it also was hilarious because it was exactly what I was going through and it was so funny. I know I'm going to post it down below, but I really do want to share some because they are really funny. Uh, I don't remember when this article was posted, but it was BuzzFeed and I'll post it in the comments. For example, number six, stare blankly at the bathroom floor tiles for a moment while contemplating the meaning of life. Did that. Curse water for making things more slippery than they already are. There was one about a raccoon. And it's only funny like when you're already like after, but deny the fact that your menstrual cup is unreachable and continue to claw your insides like a panicked raccoon. That was me. <laughs> but seriously, read it. It's very funny. I just, oh my god, it was so funny. So I put it in the description box because I will not be able to capture all of it. But I remember I was reading that as I was frustrated, as I was more or less panicking and all of these feelings were happening i was reading that and it made me feel like so not alone but also it was hilarious so <laughs> i did eventually get it out obviously um it literally it's once you start panicking about not being able to get out you're not going to get it out you literally have to go calm down relax try again <laughs> like don't force it it's not gonna work um but honestly it's not that hard for me to do anymore it takes some practice and i would say the first time you try it there's there's two schools of thoughts i've noticed Pe some people say try it on a day that you don't have your period so you're not like also panicking with a whole bunch of stuff on your fingers but um there's some people who say to only do it that day because you're very much lubricated now if you do it on a day that you don't have your period and you're trying it use lube because otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself just saying. <laughs> it's actually easy to use lube the whole time, like um, especially in the beginning or the very tail end of your period to use lube to help get it where it's supposed to go. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just backup. It's good. You don't need it. You really don't. Um, you're pretty soft down there when you have your period, so this is not too hard to slide it in there. There's dozens of different folds, but I tend to use this one. So I push it down here and I fold it. And it's kind of like that, but honestly, I'm probably squeezing it a little bit more on the top. So when it goes in, you hear that sound? Yeah, that, that actually hurts if you do it that way. Don't do it that way. I'm in a different angle. So, so when you go in, you kind of like 
pop it out. But if there is a little like gap there, you just kind of bring around until everything's kind of settled. And then it really doesn't really move if you just try to pull. Literally, if you just try to pull this, it won't really move. If it moves, that means probably it wasn't completely settled in there. For the most part, unless it is very settled in there and it still moves very easily, like literally just you're not putting, I'm not pulling the heart and it just comes out. You might have the wrong size cup. You might need a bigger one. You might need a sturdier one, whatever it is. You just might just have the wrong cup for your own body. But um, to take it out, you basically have to break the seal. There, there will be a seal. You're going to have to break the seal somehow with your finger, whatever finger you use to get. And you kind of like, not that hard. It, <laughs> it's very hard to show here. You kind of like break the seal a little bit and then you can, I grab it from like the base of it here if I can, but otherwise I at least break the seal and then I pull this down, give or take. A few times you're gonna hurt yourself, I will say. I have not, probably since the first six months, I have not actually like done a way that this like hits you right in there. It does not feel good, especially on the way out. <laughs> it does not feel good, but I honestly, I don't probably think I can't remember the last time I did it. I would say within the first six months, I probably did it like two or three times, give or take. But yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I would say the, the lube is a great tip if you can get access to that. Um, otherwise, sometimes if you have no other choice, honestly, it should slide in there just fine. But always when you're brand new, I'm going to stop wiggling this, when you're brand new using a cup, I would suggest having a backup pad just in case you really can't figure it out and you're in public, especially if you're in public. I would say if you're trying out a cup, do it on a day that you have off that you're not going to go anywhere so you can try those out and get comfortable with those days and then also get comfortable with trying to if you need to you keep in mind you don't always need to you can you can pee with this <laughs> you're fine <laughs> um that's not where the pee comes from I know there's a few people who think otherwise but that's not where it comes from so if you don't need to take it out and you're out and about you just go to the bathroom that's fine you don't need to do anything um if now if it moves because you were using the bathroom and it moves for some reason, then yeah, you're gonna have to fix it. But honestly, it's not that bad. If you're worried about getting stuff on your hands or anything like that, you can take some paper towels with you into the bathroom with you. You can have a little bottle of water. You can have some water. You can have a spray or whatever. Just do that after you do everything with your cup. Let's say wash your hands, go to the bathroom, do what you need to do. Don't let any of other products get on your cup and then you put it in only because it might hurt you if you're sensitive to like a hand sanitizer or alcohol and you use that right after I would say use that after your cup so wash your hands make sure they're dry and everything make sure there's no soap or anything that you want to introduce to yourself and then go to the bathroom figure that all out and then either you can wipe your hands in there because I know it might be a little weird to go out and wash your hands. You're going to wash your hands anyway, but to kind of wipe your hands or anything if you have any reason to worry about that. But in general, start at home. Um, practice there. I would say build up a tolerance to having it in longer if you're going to use it on longer days. So maybe your first time you have it, it's like an hour and then two hours and then three hours, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, unless you just want to see how it feels. You can literally just track how you feel with it. So if you notice it at a certain time, write that down. If blah, blah, blah. Most of the time though, I don't feel this at all in me. At all. <laughs> like it's there. It's good. We're done. We're good fam. That's it. <laughs> um, but when you're starting, there's it's going to be like, there's something there. What is there? <laughs> and that's fine. Just know that there is no wrong way to do what you need to do for your body. So just, just keep that in mind. And if something feels weird, adjust it, fix it, change it, or maybe you need to stop using it. That's it. Um, my favorites, honestly, will always be pads. They're just so easy for me now. Um, these I typically use on longer days when I'm going out and about. That's about it. Every now and then I'll use them when I'm at home, but most of the time it's my pads. They make me happy. <laughs> 
that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, for anybody who menstruates. And for those who don't, if you re if you watch this whole video just because you're curious, good job. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I got to say. I think everybody should just be okay with talking about menstruation. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of humans out there that menstruate. So yeah, I mean, that's all I have for you today. I will be doing more information about menstruation period and cycles. You did see something more or less like that earlier using my tracker. So I will be talking about that more because I think it's very important to know your energy, to know how you're feeling and to ride the wave that you're meant to ride and not fight against things that that are not going to help you. But anyways, all the information will be down below. I'm going to go enjoy my smoothie. Bye.